First of all, congratulations on making the Olympic team. Tell us all how you got started diving. What made you fall in love with our sport? So it's kind of a family affair. So my mom is a diving coach. She actually swam and dove in college. And then my dad is a swim coach. Um, he actually coached um, 12 time Olympic medalist, Jenny Thompson. So he's a very good swim coach. My sister swam for my dad and I dove for my mom. So we are all kind of like on the pool deck as I was growing up. It's like, I tell people I kind of started diving at like five years old. So it's been a long, long time. And I just kind of fell in love with the sport. And, you know, my mom was really great. She wasn't one of those parents who kind of pushed their kid into the sport or anything, especially being my coach, um, which I really appreciated. So it kind of taught me to learn the love the sport on my own terms. And so I kind of, you know, I just stuck with it. I did a lot of different sports growing up. I did swimming, diving, gymnastics, soccer, dance. I did it all pretty much. And then it got down to gymnastics and diving. And then I kind of just realized when I made my first junior nationals, I was like, well, I feel like I should stick with this. Like gymnastics is really hard. I loved gymnastics so much, but uh, diving was kind of where my heart was. And I was really passionate about it. And I thought that I could kind of go far and I just wanted to see where my, my potential could possibly lead me, so. You were bound to be in aquatics from when you were itty bitty. <laughs> Absolutely. It shows you, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, gr just growing up with your parents and their success in aquatics, did you have a swimmer or a diver that you looked up to? Um, I mean, I always say it was my dad's swimmer, Jenny Thompson. You know, I was really little when she was going to the Olympic Games, but I got to kind of see her work with my dad and my dad worked with her. And it was just such a great environment to kind of grow up in and see that passion, see that hard work. And, you know, she was just such an amazing person. She still is. She's like my sister. Um, you know, after she was so successful at the Olympics, she went on to be an anesthesiologist. She swam at Stanford. She was, she's just so accomplished and she's just such a great person to look up to in so many aspects of life. So kind of like, that's where I kind of saw the Olympics, you know, first happening and um, with her swimming in it. And then I was like, wow, that'd be so cool to do that one day. Like I didn't know what sport it would be in, but that's kind of where the dream started. Yeah, your sister's pretty amazing. She's just like the package and like just the, the perfect person, perfect idol to kind of look up to. Jess, another Olympic games and, and your name's on the roster. Has it sunken in yet that you're going to another Olympic games? I mean, not really, maybe a little bit here and there, but um, I think the last time around, you know, when I walked into the stadium for the opening ceremonies the first time, that's when it really became real. So I'm kind of looking forward to that same experience again. And, you know, to be kind of um, one of the older ones, the more experienced ones that is kind of a, a crazy feeling to me, but, um, you know, I'm excited to kind of hopefully lead them and give them advice. And, you know, it's, it's obviously like an experience that I'm just super grateful for to not only do once, but a second time. And you just never know that that's gonna happen. So I feel very, very grateful and, and just excited for the opportunity. You're so young and you're a seasoned veteran. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I feel a lot older though. <laughs> And it's amazing, our, our Olympic roster this time around, there's so many youngins, right? I mean, you've got Tyler Down, 17, Andrew, who I know you amazing. two, I want to talk about your relationship a little bit because I just hopped off a Zoom with him and he said you guys spent, what was it, two months together? Yeah, during the like middle of like, like when it first everything shut down, um, we like had nowhere to go because we went to his house in April and uh, we were just kind of shut down there for two months. So I like lived with his family and yeah, he's like, he's like my brother. So it was just like, it was fun time, but it was pretty, it was pretty funny. We kind of got sick of each other for a little bit there. <laughs> Almost too much, right? A little bit. Yeah. He's like my little brother. So it's, it was fun though. It was a lot of fun. He talked to me a lot about how much you helped him, you know, with diving, there's so many ups and downs and uh, mentally, physically, some days are better than other. And uh, yeah, he just, he said how much you helped him, you know, what were some of the things you told him as he can lean on you as, as a seasoned veteran, someone who has been there and done that and competed at the highest level, Jess? Yeah. I mean, you know, he says he's helped 
or I've helped him, but he's really helped me as well. And like, I feel like just having the relationship that we have and to be able to go through this experience together has been so, so helpful. So I'm just as appreciative of him. Um, but just kind of what to expect going through these kind of high pressure moments, um, you know, whether it's, you know, fighting through an injury at a competition or, you know, the mental side of things, you know, obviously what he did at Olympic trials was incredible, um, you know, to go from sixth to then first and qualify individually. It was just so amazing. And I, I just, I'm so in awe of him, um, but really just, we've kind of worked through um, all these like ups and downs together and to have him has been so special. So I don't know, I, I think like going through COVID and just kind of being supporters of each other. And then, you know, obviously going through kind of another Olympic year, um, just kind of trying to keep him upbeat and, you know, keep his confidence high and just knowing that I, I know how great he is as a diver. So I wanted him to see that. And again, just going through all the mental side of things and trying to make sure that he knows you know, just how amazing he is and what he, he can accomplish. You guys are all amazing. And especially going through that last year during the COVID-19 pandemic and everything was uncertain and stopping and having an Olympic year be moved. What was yeah. that like, Jess? And how did you stay sharp during that time? I mean, it was pretty crazy, obviously. And we've all, you know, felt the effects of this whether it's financially or, you know, in sports, just having to wait. And especially as I've gotten older in the sport and 10 meters a lot in your body, you know, I kind of had the plans of after the Olympics of maybe even going down to three meters, it's kind of what I envisioned. And so once the postponement actually happened, I was like, well, I definitely have to do another year of platform and, you know, um, kind of just just thinking about my goals and obviously like, it didn't affect me as much as I feel like others, you know, like it could have been worse. So I was, you know, still planning on being in Bloomington and training, you know, it didn't inhibit my, um, you know, my next steps at all really, other than continuing platforms. So I kind of just was like, yep, this is happening. And I just kind of tried to accept it and move forward. And I just knew that this year was gonna be full of just ups and downs. And, um, you know, I just, kind of talked to my coach Drew and we were just like, I feel like this year is going to be like rolling with the punches. Like, all right, you just have to accept it and move on. And, um, you know, the way that you deal with things mentally is such an important part of training and competition. So just to be able to be mentally tough was like my biggest thing this year and just trying to get through it and still be confident and dive well. Jess, I love that you bring up 10 meter and the impact. And as you're getting older, even though you're so young, um, I have to say your entries at trials of 10 meter looked as good as ever. Seriously, Thank you, you so look, good. yeah, your, your rips were, were beautiful. <laughs> and you know, that is something that we've really, really worked hard on um, the last five years, especially after Rio, just those little details. Um, and so that was a lot of underwater work, uh, like a lot of, I don't know, I guess, trying to get my numbers up on 10 meters. So to build my strength, um, build my shoulder strength, obviously. So that was something that was like one of my biggest goals. So I'm really glad that that paid off and that you saw that. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, you definitely accomplished that goal for sure. <laughs> I can tell you've been working hard at them. I can tell. Jess, I want to talk about trials. What was your mindset going in and your goals? And, you know, what was it like to just, when you knew you made Team USA again? You know, going in, that was my first competition in a year and a half. Um, so that in itself was a little bit nerve wracking. Um, I tried to just kind of visualize and, you know, figure out in my mind, I was like, well, I know what I know what to do. I know what to expect. I've done this a million times, um, you know, to keep in a routine just to remember what I've done over the years. And I was like, I'll be fine. You know, I did have the opportunity to go to the World Cup. A few people um, pulled out of that meet and I was planning on going, um, but then they postponed that meet two weeks and kind of overlapped with my sister's wedding. And I was like, well, I need to choose my sister's wedding over that. Um, so that was kind of a little disappointing just because I really wanted to get that competitive touch before Olympic trials. So I kind of just had to like, really be confident and know that I knew what to expect and knew what to do. Um, so I was, I was 
pretty much calm. I was a little nervous, honestly. I think I was a little more nervous than the first time around for 2016. Um, but I think I stayed pretty calm regardless throughout the competition, which helped. And my synchro partner Delaney is so great. I love her. I love training with her, competing with her. So that in itself really, really helped. So by the time I got to the semifinal prelims, it was like my first competition in so long. So I was a little more nervous for that. But once we got to the semifinal of synchro, I was like relaxed. I was like, all right, I'm good. Um, and then, you know, obviously making the team was just unbelievable. It's just, it was just kind of like a huge, I hit the water on my twister and I was just like, oh, I was like, oh my God. Cause I, I kind of knew we were like in a position to make it. I wasn't really looking at the scoreboard, but I, I kind of knew. And I just kind of looked at her and I just saw like, she started getting emotional and I did. And it was just like that whole five years, you know, the culmination of it all and COVID and everything, all the emotions came out. So it was, it was just really special to share that moment with her. Especially after a year like we had, it probably felt even better, right? Like you said, that sigh after you came out, you're just like, okay, I did the best I could and I think we did it. It was just, it was un unbelievable. So, you know, it just, again, what I said before about being mentally tough and, and keeping the hope and making, you know, your, your goals in your head, you're like thinking about them for so long and you're like, you make that a reality and it's, it's just something really special. I'm so glad you brought up your sister's wedding. You have the perfect balance of working really hard, but also having some fun and enjoying yourself, you know, outside of your hard work too. Definitely. And I feel like balance is such a key for me, just like in and out of the pool and just being able to keep my mind right and not always thinking about diving because I feel like that can be a lot of pressure that you put on yourself. For sure. And Jess, I'm glad you brought up your synchro partner, Delaney. Uh, what makes you guys such a great pair? Diving obviously is an individual sport, but when you're doing synchro, you are very much so working as a super close team. What makes you guys such a good fit for each other? Um, honestly, I'd have to say our mindset. Um, we both have very similar goals and we're both super driven people. Um, when we decided to get together and do synchro, it was, it was a very last minute decision and it was kind of crazy. Um, but I think we just trusted in each other that we were ready for this. And we had done synchro in the past before and we knew we were a great team. And we also just knew we were a team that could not only make the Olympic team, but fight for a spot on the podium. And that's kind of where we were like, okay, like let's team up, you know, let's do our best. Let's, you know, you know, fight for every single dive. And so it's really our mindsets were, that were very synced up. And obviously like that led to really good dives. So. I mean, I couldn't be happier and she's just so much fun to dive with. Um, you know, we have very similar humor, so it's just kind of fun. We'll like crack jokes here and there, but we're also very serious when the time comes uh, to compete. So I don't know, it just works out super, super well. So I, I couldn't be more grateful for her. Does she uh, pick your brain and ask you for some advice? How do, you, uh, how do you help kind of mentor her, but also work together as a pair? Um, I mean, here and there, but I feel like she's, She's already such a seasoned um, athlete. You know, she won a bronze medal at the World Championships in 2019. So she's just an incredible diver. And that's part of the reason why I really wanted to team up with her because I knew that she knows how to dive well under pressure. And I feel like I kind of have a similar um, skill set. So I feel like that was like a really good combination that we would come together and dive super well. But you know, she's just mentally super tough. Um, again, we have very similar mindsets as far as diving and competing. So I don't know. Um, I think she's been like asking after the fact when we qualified, she's been, you know, asking some questions here or there about the Olympics, but I think she's just really excited about it. And so that's been really fun to just kind of like talk to her about that. And just, it's just so, so much fun. Jess, USA Diving has a campaign, Champions Forged in Water. Talk about how diving has impacted your life and how you hope to be an ambassador for the sport forever. Yeah, I mean, obviously diving is very close to my heart. It's a huge part of my family, um, you know, swimming and diving, of course. So something that I've really wanted to do, you know, maybe in, when I'm retired um, is kind of stay close to um, the young community of divers and, um, you know, mentor them possibly and get into that. But also, you know, my mom and I, since she coached me growing up and she's obviously my mom, um, you know, something I would love to do is do parent education and just, you know, 
have me and my mom possibly talk to parents about, about how to like raise your kids in sports and how to motivate them and not to push them too hard, but like have them learn to love the sport and, you know, on their own terms, like I was saying earlier. So, you know, I would love to stay involved in that way and just to try to give back um, as much as I can, especially to the young diving community. That's amazing, Jess. And I can't believe we're only a few weeks away from the games. Uh, take us through your mental and physical uh, preparation right now. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I'm back to training, back to my normal schedule. Um, you know, training twice a day, weights three times a week, Pilates three times a week. So um, it's a pretty busy schedule, but I'm really, I'm starting to get really excited about it. And, um, you know, it's just those pre-competition like jitters, but like more excitement because it's the Olympic games. So it's kind of cool to feel those emotions again after five years. Um, I get to go out to Tucson to train with Delaney in a little bit. So in about a week and a half, I'll head there. So that's really exciting. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be really hot. So I don't know if I'm used to that weather because it's outside, but, you know, maybe get a nice little tan. So that'll be nice. I was going to say it's going to be hot, but you're going to get a little tan, even though you already have a tan already. So you'll just uh, get a nice little glow before you head to head to Tokyo. It's so funny because she's like, you're not allowed to get any more tan. She's like, you're already so much tanner than me. And I'm like, I don't know if I can control that, but yeah. I'm excited about it. <laughs> That's so funny. She's she's there working on her tan, and then you're gonna pop in there and just get a few shades darker. So I know. Thank you so much for taking time with me. I really appreciate it, and I'm so excited to watch you. I know you're gonna kill it at Tokyo, and and I know you're gonna take it all in. Right here we go again. <laughs> yes, I am gonna take it all in. You know, I don't really know exactly what I I'm gonna do after this, so. You know, I'm not saying I'm retiring yet, but, um, you know, you just never know if you're going to get the chance to go again. So that's why I like appreciate the opportunity so much. And I'm just glad it's happening. So <laughs> I'm glad we just all get to go. And you've earned it. You worked so hard. So I'm so excited to see you on this stage yet again. <laughs>